Hey everyone, Kyokyoka here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we uh, we rest we we rescued Queen Lean from Yakura, who was leading the the fiends at Manolia Cathedral. We said our goodbyes to Frog for now, and joined up with Marl. Speak of Marl. She actually isn't doing too gun equipment. I'll give her the pad vest and Hmm I think Uh she's the healer of the group, so having her be a bit more speedy with the headband at least for now sounds like a good idea. In this episode, we're gonna return to our own time and see how things play out. Now let's go through Guardia Forest. I always get confused which one is the, um, shelter and which one are these guys. And there we go. Not quite enough to learn Aura on Morrow, but we're getting close. Now let me claim my shelter. And let's deal with these things. Yeah, I'm thinking a cyclone should be good. The model can probably see one of them down for a crossbow. Or not actually, because it's so close to her that she just smacks it. She learned Aura, and Chrono learned Aura World. It's a basic healing tech. On one person, and with the help of Chrono, it heals the entire part. I'm not can try showing it off, though I don't think it'll be that um good. Yeah, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna show it off here for the sake of showing off. So first off, we're on Luca actually. Now we just wait around because I want to show off the dual tech. Some pretty basic party healing on uh, everyone in the party. You're done. I think the wind slash would be enough for you. I could have done with a normal attack, but like, whatever. And Luca got another level up. Yep, she's now in power of Krona. Didn't mean to get any fight, I could dismiss it, but I'm not gonna sure. This is a fiend dillo. What? I thought Krona was one shot. And we, we shoot him in case Luke is not taken. Done the Once we have a more opportune time, I'm probably gonna let you guys listen to the uh, battle theme because it, it's pretty good. But I typically have a lot of things to say during the fight, so you guys typically don't get to listen to the battle theme. And with that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to return to our own time. So how do we get home? Oh, your highness, we... Please, call me Marl. Well then, Marl. Observe. Woo! Luca, you're amazing. <laughs> 
Sorry, I should be more humble in front of. Not worry, I'm a princess. What's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you, you're incredible. I trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals in the same location at a different time. But gates are unstable. That's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I use the principle behind my telepod device to create the gate key. It's what locking the gate in place. Why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright, coming, Crow, now? I mean, yeah, if I didn't. I kind of be SOL, considering you have the gate key. Phew, we made it! Chrono, Luca, why don't you come back to me with the I, I can't read. Why don't you come back with me to the castle? Give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Mara. What are you talking about? It's the most fun I had in months, and I made new friends too. I mean, come on, I disappeared from all of existence. <laughs> Grano, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping into why that gate appeared. See you soon, Luca. And Grano, are you ready to escort me home? So Luca will leave the party for a little bit, but that's fine. Not to say that she hasn't been an asset, just saying that the, there isn't too much combat. Now, before we actually, um, go take her home, I want to show a moral off to my mother because, well, we can play with the cat while we're waiting. And this is something you can do for every I remember. I just figured that we should go and take care of the fair and, like, a single sitting getting that episode and I take care of this once we return back well, this is a pleasant surprise I've never seen you bring any girls around except for Luca who's this pretty young friend or just, just pretty friend again right I don't know how to read Amaro nice to meet you Amaro you say have we met somewhere before that's where I recognize you. That's just my imagination. I'm also going to rest up over here. But yeah, that is supposed to be a bit of foreshadowing as to... Marl not just being some random girl, but... Which is another reason why I probably should have, um... Shown it off before we, uh, learned that... Marl was a princess, but whatever. Hmm, reducing the form factor of a bipedal robot without compressing balance is tougher than I thought. Oh, Chrono, hurry up and escort the princess back to the castle. Fine. But I'm always off tinkering with their latest inventions. I brought you this apple with what we earned today. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Oh, Lucas writes. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show. Now let's head through Guardia Forest again. This time in the modern time where we don't get free shelters. You can show this fight. There isn't any real fun in it. This episode hasn't been particularly long. Can we cycle? Ah, we just barely need it to. And there we go.
Okay, there we go. And now let's take her back to the castle. Princess Nadia. Are you alright? Where on earth have you been? We heard you were abducted. We had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. <laughs> you back there. You're the one I thought you kidnapped the princess. No, Chrono only... Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crowd. No! No, you mustn't! Stop this right now! What are you fools doing? But Her Highness, the princess said. Doesn't matter what she said. Seize him! Chrono! Now, before we get into this, this is actually a pretty powerful moment to most people, and I have to agree, it's... It can, in mechanics, it can be a little buggy, but I still really like it. I, your Chancellor, shall serve as Prosecutor Aqua. I, Pierre, represent Phoenix Wright, the Defense Attorney. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake? Perhaps to feel the tickler? A hang upside down? No. Before we actually go any forward, I have to criticize one thing. Not about this moment, but about this kingdom. If you if you think a fair punishment for someone who uh, you yourself called a terrorist is to, is to feel the tickler of, I I I think the chancellor back from 600 AD is still working on uh, getting that criminal justice system in place. I shall we employ the deity. The choice is yours, good jurors. Now, let us begin. We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Colonel was charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? <clears throat> Hang on. Okay, we're good. The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was there mean a coincidence, it was the princess who herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Is that true? Who is responsible for initiating contact? Now, as much as saying Morrow was and painting yourself as more innocent sounds good on paper no matter what you do you have to initiate contact with Morrow trust me this honesty is the best co policy here indeed the defendant deliberately approached the princess pretending it was an accident oof Having subdued the princess, the defendant co coerced her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. Is if that is not criminal abduction, abduction, I don't know what is. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that called the defendant's character into question. OBJECTION! This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Care to respond, Chancellor? 
criminal's characters at the very core of this case. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have... No, no, okay, wrong character. Very well, we have nothing to hide. Color witness who can vouch for the... No, no, I, I keep... I keep doing the wrong voice. Like to vouch... No, no, I would not like to vouch... I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. It's, it's not like a paragraph. You can read this. That man brought me my kitty back. Thank you, mister. How about? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put up on trial. Gee, looks like they're buying it. The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Part of greed. Her fortune did not tempt you. Did tempt you? Did it not, Chrono? Now, now, before answering, I would make a joke about, uh... Part of greed, but that joke's been run to the ground over the years, so I'm, so I'm just not gonna do it. Um, this is all depend on if you took the pendant and gave it tomorrow, as opposed to checking if she's okay then. Uh, checking it, yes, yeah, so as opposed to just being a good person see if she's okay. This does get you a tiny penalty if you do get it wrong, which is why I'm trying to be as honest as possible here. And I... I'm pretty sure that I checked Marl before going over the pendant last time, so I'm just gonna go with no. You, you weren't tightened in the least. You weren't in the least bit tempted. Not at all. Very well. No more questions, Joe. It's been made quite evident that my Oh uh, I wait, why why do I keep saying the wrong voice? It's been made quite clear, <clears throat> not quite clear, quite evident that my client is a fine and virtuous young man, and the fence rests, Your Honor. Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. <clears throat> if you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left, innocent to the right. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Alright, now I'd like to go over how the jurors work. I got one guilty verdict. That's because that juror is a little buggy. These jurors are depending on what you did in the fair and your answers in the trial. I believe it was the first juror, I could be wrong. Now, where if you didn't lie at all throughout the chi trial, even if it was a question that made you look guilty, then you will get a juror on your side. He's the first one, please. Sure. Second one, he's dependent on the little girl and her cat. Some people like to talk to the cat already knowing that you have to return to the little girl. And it's kind of buggy. He we even had the witness say, yes, I, he rescued my cat, but he still voted us guilty. It's very weird. Our ones are based on just, uh, when Marl wanted to get candy, you could have just, um, forced her to not go and, I haven't actually done this option, so I'm not sure what the dialogue is per se, but I'm pretty sure she says, 
Like, kidnapper, and then, of course, the Gure overheard it, so he's gonna think you're guilty. One is the old man if you, well, was happy about his wife's lunch. It could have made for good Gato grinding, but he's not gonna have a very high opinion of you when you're in court if you steal his the lunch that his wife made for him. So on and so forth. Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. Even if he did not kidnap the, prin kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided in a flight from the castle. I sentenced the accused to three days in solitary confinement as punishment. Take him away. Stop! Princess Nadia! That's quite enough, young lady. But, Father! All I asked was for you to. No. I, I'm so stupid. All I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to Chancellor. Forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here. Chrono! This man is a seditionist meant to overthrow our king. To found guilty by trial. I trust him to your care. So this is the monster who abducted the princess. Execution is three days hence. See that he is here to attend it. Execution? I don't recall hearing about that. No cause for concern. It's only been a small delay in the paperwork. What do you want to question me? Never, sir. Guards! Take this prisoner away. 